In September 2013, the World Future Council brought together 150 people from over 30 countries to the Future of Cities Forum in Hamburg, Germany. The goal was to provide a platform for urban policymakers and different stakeholders to share knowledge in order to develop and identify strategies in realizing the vision of regenerative cities. We live at a critical moment in history when for the first time more than half of the world's population are living in cities. The city's ecological footprints need to be dramatically reduced if we are serious about a future on this planet. Urbanization is exploding basically um, and cities are not equipped to handle that pace of growth. And I think this kind of forum is very important because it brings together people that influence policymakers and can bring everybody around on the same page. This Future of Cities Forum was created by the World Future Council to unleash and to create a forum for the necessary dialogue among all stakeholders to achieve the idea of a regenerative system. It's great also that we were able to bring some of the actual decision makers here. I think it's really important that they're part of the conversation so we're not talking at them but talking with them. It is a great honor for us that the forum is taking place in the free and Hanseatic city of Hamburg this year. How could we better learn from the experiences of other people than at an international gathering like this one, involving mayors, city planners, scientists and representatives of civil society from all over the world? And of course there are good examples all over the world, but there's a lot more that requires to be done, but it doesn't get done because often shorter term priorities of human society overtake our longer term goals of leaving a better planet for our children. We are in a real need for a paradigm shift in Egypt in the way we are uh, establishing and implementing our new cities and new communities. And I found this uh, forum very inspiring because we are talking about practical uh, solutions for uh, major issues that we are really uh, facing right now in Egypt, uh, especially water and energy. The concept of regenerative development is truly very wonderful because, as mentioned earlier, most of us, especially those of us on the local level, think in a linear manner. Now we have to think of the cyclical manner. So, for example, in our solid waste problem, we will have to think of ways of making use of the wastewater, treating it, capturing the nutrients, and all that. Regeneration is one aspect that I have been enjoying, appreciating, and uh, thinking of uh, in that line as to how Thimphu City should also regenerate. Like yesterday, I heard about Vancouver City doing well as far as transport is concerned. We, of course, are always looking to share ideas and share failures as well as successes. Um, so this is a great forum for us to talk about what we're doing as well. I find the forum very, very interesting because you have managers and leaders from developed cities like Hamburg, you have colleagues from Dar es Salaam, our neighboring developing city. So at the end of it all, we hope to evolve common standard policies that should run all cities. Cities and their mayors are in a position to take action even when the nations to which they belong do nothing and they're doing it. I think having strong leaders is really important, innovative leaders who are listening to other cities and um, looking for good examples in the world and implementing them at home, it's very important. I think we've seen a lot of cities trying to get rid of the silos in different departments and start having more integrated approaches, um, especially to resource management and economic development. There's a number of things we don't know about, about the future. But we know one thing, that in every single city, they'll all be people. When you are dealing with people's lives, you need to plan for, for them. When you have an influx of people coming to the city, you have an urban sprawl. You need to plan the city in a way that the city becomes a city for the people. We can learn a lot from each other. I found it extremely interesting to hear about these various stories. Sometimes cities and people look very differently at the same problem depending on what the history is where they come from, and of course this exchange is crucial. The input that we get from other cities and how they have solved their problems also helps us a lot in the time of development and actually planning it for the future than just solving the problem for the moment. So coming in for conferences like this really give us the exposure 
that we need when we think of the redevelopment and the plans that we are going ahead with there. So this kind of uh, an initiative that the World Future Council has in partnership with many other organizations, we now need to work so much together in partnership that nobody can ignore us.